Hi, I'm Tanya and today I'm going to show you how to design a model smart house using the components from the microcontroller kit and whatever you have lying around. Your build is only limited by your imagination. What are the types of materials that you have access to? I started using Tinkercad to design the structure and a 3D printer to print it. But personally, I wanted bigger and prettier, so I moved my structure to cardboard. The technology used to automate your home is referred to as smart home technology because it makes the decisions without a human. Practically every component in your home can be automated. A smart house allows the people living there to control their appliances, security, lights and thermostats all remotely using a smartphone or tablet through an internet connection. It's all based on coding and uses a trigger action programming approach. But how do you code all these different components within a home? There's a central computerized hub that is the brain of the house controlling all of the components. We code this with a if this, then that approach so that a sensor causes a reaction. This reaction may be turning the lights on or triggering an alarm. To replicate the hub, we can use the microbit as the ultimate controller. Time to take a closer look at my smart house and how it works. I've modeled automatic lights, temperature, security systems that all can run remotely via Bluetooth using the microbits radio function. We can measure the temperature by using the temperature sensor inside the CPU of the microbit. The thermometer can be used to trigger events on a display or activate a heater or cooler. When a thermometer is used to trigger an event, it's called a thermostat. To replicate automatic lights, we can use the light sensor built into the microbit to turn on the lights of a garden path. Or we could use the additional Grove light sensor to measure the lights inside a smaller space, as I have done inside my model, to turn the lights on or off. Another component we're looking at in a smart house is an alarm system. I had so many ideas for how this could work. Using the gesture sensor to turn lights on as you walked past, or an alarm if you open the door using the magnetic force field sensor. The simplest way I could make the alarm was by creating a doormat and using a pressure switch from cardboard and alfoil. A circuit's created when both sides are pushed together. The alarm would notify occupants that they had a guest at the door. Some things that I learned along the way are number one, because your smart house will incorporate many different components, test each one individually. Two, when creating your models, leave room to connect all of your sensors and outputs. And last one, there really should be ease of access to the battery pack and the microbit, just in case you need a very quick fix. I hope these ideas have sparked your imagination and you come up with some creative solutions to build your smart house. If you would like to learn how to complete this activity, please jump on the STEM T4L Learning Library. Teachers, to share the amazing projects created in your classroom, visit the STEM T4L Facebook group and Yammer community. I had so much fun creating, your students will too.